So I'm done with this, guys. You're absolutely amazed how simple it is to take this simple basic design and make it flexible to work on an iPhone and flexible to work on an iPad. Very simply done. Okay, so now we're going to create the section tag. It's important to affect the tag. We need to select the tag. We select the section tag, come over here to make a new CSS rule. What does it say right there? I just want to share a concept with you. There's a lot of other videos that they claim they teach Dreamweaver, but they totally don't use the Dreamweaver vocabulary. So as an example, I won't mention any names, but there's a wonderful website out there that sells videos beginning with an L, ending with an A. I won't mention their name. But I see one of their instructors say, what you do is you go over here to the settings. Well, there's no settings. Now, semantically, settings, yes, I get settings, but the software doesn't speak semantics. The software is a literal being. It's an understanding of how it was programmed. So this is what does it say. It doesn't say settings. It says new CSS rule, exact vocabulary, rules for your tag. Select the tag, make a rule. It's not settings, it's rules. I didn't make this up. So I'm going to go to section. And section's going to be based on these choices here. Section's going to be, we said section to be 650 pixels. So 650 pixels, and let's put 20 pixels of padding. So if I hit the apply option, this is now 650 with 20 pixels of padding, and we want this to float to the left. So I'm going to apply that. Okay, so there's the section tag, section tag. Now, again, just because we can, let's just give this some kind of color. Now pay no attention to the design here. On this scene, it's doing this, you can visually see what's going on here. Okay, now what I want to do here, I want to give this some kind of space between the nav tag. So therefore, box category, category box, from the left and just in the left, we're going to do 20 pixels of margin. Margin space is outside the box. Padding space is inside the box. 20 pixels of margin to the left, which means I now need to what? I now need to minus 20 pixels. If I don't do that, guys, very important step here. You can put a 10-foot room. I'm sorry. You can put a 10-foot table inside of a 9-foot room unless you cut part of it off. So you have to keep track of your math. Whatever you add, whether it's padding, margin, or border, you have to deduct from the width. Otherwise, it's going to come out of the box. So if I hit the apply option, there's my margin space. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now, article we'll do in a separate next video. The aside tag, select the tag. In order to affect the aside, we select the aside. By default, the aside tag is taking up this entire space. So we're going to select the tag and make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. So guys, at 2 o'clock in the morning when you're trying to sleep, I want you to hear my voice say, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're making a rule for the selected tag because in order to affect the tag, you need to select the tag. That's how all software works. In order to affect something, you must select something. Okay. So let's go to the category of box. Now, we set this up earlier to say the aside tag is going to be 200 pixels wide. 200 pixels wide with a 20 pixel padding, which means the, this is going to be minus 40, and also we want to put some margin space to the left of this of 20 pixels. This goes along the, the 960 grid premise. Each grid is separated by 20 pixels. We'll talk about that in my video series. If you subscribe to my video series, you'll get the whole shebang, A to Z, the entire series for $39 for a three-month subscription. You can cancel any time. So we take this and we minus, minus 20 pixels. Apply that. Make a change, save a change. Now, notice that the aside tag is down here because based on these choices, we need to float this to the left. Okay, so with the apply option, the aside tag is now going to the left. Hey guys, it looks like I got slightly distracted as I was explaining this to you, so my apologies. I just want to review a few things here. So nav tag, nav tag, again, it's going to be 110, 650, 200, which adds up to 960. So I just want to share this with you. 
So nav tag is set to 70 pixels wide plus 20 pixels of padding. So 70 to the left and the right. So it's left and right is 40. 40 plus 70 is 110. Okay. Then I screwed up on the section tag. My mistake. I wasn't. I was trying to walk and chew gum at the same time. My apologies. So this is set to, let's do the math. So this is set to, we want to make this 650. So it was 650 minus the padding here is 40, so minus 40, which gives us 610, minus 20 for the left, so minus 20 for the left. That gives us 590, and that's floated to the left. Now everything fits into place. Okay, before I pause the video here a second ago, I just had too much space in my section tag, and I caught that mistake, and I fixed it, and that's how to fix it. Okay, so the footer tag, let's select the tag, I want to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Let's select the tag for footer. Now, footer would technically be a little different. Footer is the type, it's just a little smaller here. So we're gonna make our type be, uh, if you wanna make this flexible, let's make our type be 0.7 M's, which will be 70% of my body copy, which is a good thing, okay? Let's make our type white, and I want my, I wanna make my box height, box height, I wanna put the type vertically in the center, top and bottom, so I'm gonna make my box height 30 pixels high. Therefore, if I go to my background color based on these choices, category background, we're gonna make this black. Now watch what happens if I hit the apply option. Oh, 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 oh heck is gonna break loose here because the footer doesn't understand that this is here because this has a float, the section has a float, the aside tag has a float. So based on these choices, we need to go to the box category and we need to clear the floats. Footer needs to have a clear associated to, clear left. So if I hit OK, all was right in the universe. Footer is now at the bottom. I'm gonna double click footer to one more change here. Category block, block category, horizontally align this to the center. So we vertically aligned it to the center by saying not the box height 30 pixels, the line height 30 pixels. That's gonna vertically put this in the center center, top, and bottom, okay? So let's finish building this site in our next video.